All right, everybody. So we are back. We are with the new Slicer Bruce Edition 1.42.0 Alpha 3. Now, again, these things might change. Uh, I'll definitely go back and re-update these videos if the main things change. But I want to talk about a new feature. Well, a better implemented feature uh, in this new Slicer, which is the Cut Tool. So one of the things that a lot of people wish they could do, and they did add some new things. So if you click on the object, you can then use this fancy... Uh, move tool here and if we back up a little bit we can use the Z tool but as you can see if we try to push the Z down to just cut off the base kind of like we do I, I do this all the time when I used to use simplify 3d all the time just sink the object lower so it doesn't print that section not possible in the newest version of slicer maybe you can in the future right now it doesn't work but if you want to do something like that they do have a uh, cut tool so you basically select the object, and you can tell it's selected because it has this fancy little three-dimensional grid design around it. We'll select the cut tool, and it's just a vertical cut. So you can't cut on the X and Y, but you cut on the Z. And you've got some options. So we can zoom in here. We can be like, okay, I just want to not have any of that weird stuff in it and just print the top of Joker. So we've got to go a little bit higher. So right there. So we're just going to print Joker. We're not going to worry, or I guess Joker, Batman. I, we're not going to worry about the base. I don't want the base. I don't want any of that nonsense. I just want to print him, skip the base, all that nonsense. And you've got some options here. So you got keep upper part, keep lower part, and so on. So we definitely want to keep the upper and not the lower. So we're going to uncheck keep the lower part, and we're going to perform the cut. And once the cut is performed, it should drop it right on the bed all perfectly amazing and now we have just the bust of Joker Batman uh, from Vedran without any of the base and yeah, just a neat option I mean this is definitely something that um, you can also export out so you can go to uh, file and save as or save as whatever or export it as an STL so whatever you want to do um, with this tool or however you want to use it um, I mostly use it for objects where I didn't want to print a certain section of it or some object might have had an issue where the base wasn't perfectly flat. So this will help you cut that piece that's not perfectly flat. Um, and just remember you can't do X and Y, at least yet. Uh, it would be kind of nice if they do an X and Y cut. Not sure why. I mean, there could be, there could be a, a good reason to add X and Y cuts, but um, I like to have more features than not. So... I hope that helps you guys out with the new cut tool. Well, not new, but the more improved, far, far more improved cut tool. Uh, stay tuned for more quick little videos on features in the new Slicer 1.42 Alpha 3.